G'day, mate, and welcome back to DC with me, Jitty. In our last episode, we started down the human research tree, finding out that they landed on this planet and they couldn't get back off it. Also, the whole team died except for Miller. It's always Miller. Always be suspicious of the Millers of the group. Oh, so after we broke into the human research, we finding out what we could, scanning as many ruins as we had access to. Today, we'll be continuing with the human research. Also, the robot research. In fact, there's a research we're about to pick up that's going to radically transform how we need to do things, how we need to do a lot of things. So today is going to be a whole lot of uh, building and rebuilding. Yes, but before we get into any of that, I need to ask a very important question. And of course, that is, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. Not happy with the video. Didn't enjoy the video. Well, that's okay. You can have your life back. At the same time, as we're in episode number lucky 13, I want to ask a very important question. And that is, have you clicked subscribe yet? You probably should. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get into uh, today's episode. So today, our very first thing we need to do is we need to unlock uh, the next piece of research, the next piece of robot research, and that is the item transporter, the good old Yeeta. We did unlock the Yeeta a long time ago, uh, all the way back here, the portable transporter, this little one here that moves things a grand total of one tile. We're about to unlock the new and improved medium Yeeta that can yeet things uh, three tiles, which means we need to radically transform how we've been building things up until now. We stop. Thank you. Uh, we have been, we have been, we have been building things in little blocks. Little blocks up until now, little blocks have done well, except as you can see, um, we have situations occasionally where, well, we get a little bit, um, a little bit jammed with traffic. And that's what I would like to rectify in today's episode. So what I want to do is I want to take our core, core concepts, what we've learnt with these little builds, and I want to replace them. Every single one of them. As you can see, uh, Energon Plates uh, is something that gets used an awful lot in both refined crystal and also high density frames, which are oh, also in every single building just about. Uh, let's bring you back up. Yeah, just about every single building. Also a whole lot of um, uh, robots and other different components. And if we're not using the Energon Plates, we're using the Energon Blocks, yes which are used in, well, even more components, along with more expensive robots. Yes. Consequently, we go through a lot of Energon plates. An awful lot of Energon plates, either turn them into Energon cubes or into fish tanks, right? Fish tanks? Fish tanks, yes. They also get turned to fish tanks, the good old refined crystal. Now, the refined crystal goes into a couple of things, the shield generator, the health, the visibility module, medium battery, solar panel, but mainly optical cable. Optical cable, if we go look that one up, uh, this one goes into, well, the data cube matrix, the data analyzer, also some of those expensive robots. So we tend to go through inherently an awful lot of energized plates, which need uh, reinforced plates, which means we go through an awful lot of, uh, well, energon plates don't get used in a whole lot of components. They do get used in a couple of basic, very basic things. Uh, but the majority of them go into energon plates, which means we need a whole bunch of iron, uh, well, metal, metal to make into bars and plates. Which is why we have one dedicated plate build, a dedicated, uh, a dedicated bar build, I guess, and also a dedicated plate build that also goes into, uh, well, wire, because we go through a lot of wire, because wire goes into cable, and cable goes, oh, uh, that's the research I needed. Cable goes into uh, the high density frames, also, yeah, the energon cubes, also the optical cable. So, uh, we found that this, uh, this, this, this inherently, because wire is very important, also means silicon is very important, uh, also means cable is very important, also means energon plates are important, reinforced plates are important, and cubes are important. Yep. Also, you might notice that I've already doubled up our energon plate build because one build was not enough to keep up. Now our reinforced plate build is not big enough to keep up, but that's okay. Can I just get everybody to just pop over here so we can clear a bit of a traffic jam? Okay. Uh, glitch bot. Uh, whoever was in the area has left. Okay, that's unfortunate. I was going to have you take out that problem. All right. So what I've done is we've got our little base over here, a little base over here that's done well. But I have a new plan, a new plan, a better plan, and that is to rebuild everything. So I have laid out some of the groundwork. Some of the groundwork, uh, actually no, the first thing we need to do is we just accessed uh, yeeters, 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 medium meters. I want 10 medium yeeters. 
go. Uh, the other thing we got access to with this piece of research was the drone component, which lets me put drones inside a robot. I don't actually know if I want that at all. Uh, also, the storage block 24, which is a one by one for 24 storage. Not bad, but not something I can see us playing with anytime soon. Now they're done, I want to go back into the human tech. And first thing I need to have is I need to have the laser extractor. Because we need to start mining laterite. Uh, laterite is required for aluminium rods. Aluminium rods are required for aluminium sheets. And aluminium sheets are required for, well, a number of things. Uh, so that's going to be our first research. Uh, our second research is going to be the human factory, which needs that aluminium stuff. Yep. The human factory let me make a repair garage. Also let me make engines. Uh, also the microprocessor, even though I can make it in a robotics assembler, if I do it in a human factory, it takes half the time. And then of course, um, we've already played with drones a little bit, but I want to play with the human drones. The human drones, because they are miles better than the owl drones. Owl drones have a, have a max range of six. These bad boys have a max range of 20. So that's going to be our next steps in the tech tree. But whilst we wait for that to happen, I want to pop over here and I want to do a little bit of building over here. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want you to request in uh, duh, 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 10 of those. Cool. Perfect. All right. I want to put together a build. I want to put together a build. I basically want to replace everything we have already and move it over here. Uh, by the way, if you're curious, the backgrounds, the backgrounds, the backgrounds on some of these icons, it's a mod on the workshop because I found some things were just unreadable, absolutely unreadable. Uh, I found the gamma in this game is a little bit weird. So when I saw that mod, I'm like, yes, please. Yes, please. So first thing you'll notice is we have a bunch of storage, an awful lot of storage. Uh, second thing we're going to notice is I need to have a whole bunch of gears because we have our first storage being um, a whole lot of metal ore linked to our second, linked to our third, linked to our fourth, which is then going to have a yeeter in it. The reason it's going to have a yeeter is I want to be able to yeet some distance just for this particular build, this very first particular build, because um, we're going to be making iron over here. Uh, hopefully you're arriving with a second yeeter. You are perfect. Cool. Because uh, second unit needs to go into that building. Okay. Uh, previously. Previously, we've been using, uh, as we had, where are we? As we had over here, we'd have an input building, which then go to a central building, uh, which would use a yeeter, which had a range of one, which to then go to an output. We just want to scale that up an awful lot. So uh, we're going to come to here. We're going to grab our first building. And I'm going to put you here. The reason we're going to put that there is that one tile of that clips the corner of that building, which means I can yeet iron ore from there to there. Uh, also means I'm going to intentionally put that in there, and then I'm going to put that in there. All right, uh, next thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need the central building. The central building so we can actually yeet stuff around, which is going to be this tile. Cool. And you've got a third yeeter. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So we still need more yeeters, but that's our step number one. Okay, so the idea is we can yeet metal ore into here. The next thing I need to do is I need to actually start processing that metal ore. So I'm going to want one of those there. We'll place that there right now, and that way hopefully it'll get built. And yeah, we're going to be short on materials for a little bit. It's fine. The, the base will catch up eventually. All right. Uh, can I get... Okay, that's been built. Uh, can I... Yeah, I'll throw that into there because actually I want these two up and running. Uh, I also want to have output. Output's going to be slightly different uh, for this one build. This one build's going to have a different output to the rest of our... Uh, that's off by a tile. Oh, can I put you there? Much better. Uh, you can have that. And we want to have output buildings. Output buildings here and here. All right, so you're going to be able to receive in iron ore. Uh, that's going to be our first one. We're going to go metal ore, all of it. Also, you have your own internal yeeter, so you can yeet along. And this particular build won't need a behavior controller. Our answer is we're literally going to yeet from there to there. Uh, I'm also going to lock all those slots. Uh, fix all slots, fix all slots, and fix all slots. 
Can I? Oh, there's our research. All right. Uh, we need to develop lightweight materials. We've been matching the natural resources of this planet with our technology to the best of our abilities. While the high density frames we've developed, being the energon cubes, will aid in our repairs, they're too dense for our needs. We need to develop something that retains the energon nature of our frames, but is more lightweight. Okay, cool. We'll add that to our list. Uh, can I do, 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 throw that in there? And then can I request in another 10 of these? Because obviously I didn't have the technology when these are built. Uh, this is our blueprint. This is our blueprint we're going to be using over and over. Uh, can I put you there? Can I put you there? Can I get you to get in three of those, please? And can I get you to get three of those as well? Uh, new research. New research means we unlocked uh, the laser extractor, which we can make an assembler, plus the microprocessor, plus the aluminum sheets and the aluminum rods and the data cube, but that requires I have a human factory. I don't have a human factory yet. So, first thing I want to do is I want to make... I want to turn you on. Uh, I want to make the laser extractor. We're going to go with 10 of them because it's a mining laser. We're going to need them. Uh, next thing was, what was the other things? Uh, microprocessor, no, aluminum sheets, aluminum rods. Okay, aluminum sheets, uh, we're gonna be doing up here because it's gonna be an intermediate, we're gonna need a lot of them. Now, aluminum rods require metal and laterite. We don't have laterite, currently I have 79 in stock because that's basically what we picked up from the ground. But I'm gonna want lots of those in the future, so we're gonna duplicate that build. Also, I'm gonna want aluminum sheets, again, uh, that comes from aluminum bars, which I have well, 13 of according to the grand inventory, and we're going to want a few of those. All right, last thing I'm going to want is microprocessors. Those I can just make. They require blight, plus they require blight plasma, uh, well, blight ore, plus blight plasma, plus uh, ICs, which we can just make. So I'm going to duplicate the hell out of those. So that means you should be able to be built if you had microprocessors. Now I can start making microprocessors, but if I find this robot. Uh, you have four already that we've picked up previously. So I'm going to send you across here, which should be able to pump out our very first four lasers, which we can then do something with. Uh, in the case of what we're going to do with them, we're going to be putting them on a couple of hounds so we can start mining laterite. Because uh, as soon as I start making mining laterite, I can then start making aluminium, which then means I can jump more into the human tech. And that has been dropped off. Perfect. Can I get you to pop back over here and put that on that building? Yes. All right. So. Cool. Uh, we also now have advanced drone technology. All right. Uh, can I put that there, please. Uh, can I bring in one more of those? And you into there, you into there, you into there, and you into there. Nice, I've got one spare. Uh, yeah, they're all done. Okay, uh, oh. Park over there. All right, uh, human technology, human technology, human technology. Okay, so human technology uh, which was this one. I can now make the human factory. I can also, in theory, make a repair garage after I have a human factory, which requires five of those circuits. Also requires a bunch of aluminum stuff. So we're gonna start making those. Uh, as it's a, as it's an assembler type building, I'm gonna go with, I'm not gonna go with 10 of them. I'm gonna go with four. Four seems like a conservative number to start with. Uh, I'm gonna lock all those slots so we don't accidentally overbuild. And aluminum rods, aluminum sheets. Uh, where is you? You have some rods, we're gonna drop those off. And you have some sheets, we're gonna drop those off too. And see if that's enough to get one of those out. It's enough to get one of those out. Okay, and I'm gonna request that one into this building after it's built. Okay. Meanwhile, you should have a mining laser and you should have a mining laser and it should be a case of receive signal goes to there and uh, that's going to output to there. Yep, that's a hound miner. That's another hound miner. We're going to set our hound miners to start mining laterite, uh, which is read it from here. And you're going to wonder the stuff that's right in front of you. That's fine. I don't mind. All right. What I do want to do is now that I have them automated, I want to build four more of them. Yep, I've already made a blueprint. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. 
and they'll pop out and all we're going to do is copy and paste the code now being that the mining laser is a medium item um it needs to go on a bigger and better robot hence i put them on hounds because i had a hound i'm like well your tail's not doing nothing you know what we're gonna put a storage on there which means they can carry an awful lot before they're gonna go back to the mining leader as for the mining leader i'm actually gonna go old school and put him on the logistics network with a supply so robots can come get stuff straight from the mining leader that's later one uh yeah so that's that up and done which means we can come back and concentrate on this so what i want to do here uh and i'm going to walk through this so it's going to take a little bit longer but that's fine uh i figure it's better to walk through this at least once because then we're going to mass produce things uh we're going to go you 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 and we're going to set you with this visual signal as well all right so we can yeet into here uh with our new and improved yeeter all out ore now all our ore can reach within that range which means it can hit this building this building can hit that storage uh, this building can hit that storage cool i have one little one little uh one by one two s which is the most dense i can make this build and you're on channel four mm, because i intentionally make sure channel four is for well yeet is only yeet is only uh, my storage is on channel one three and four with the idea being that one is the one the bots use Three is the one I'm going to be reserving for flying drones, and or have been reserving for flying drones. And four is the uh, well, the one for yeeters only. So you have to be on four so we can eat. Uh, you have to be well, optionally be on three so uh, flying drones can access this box, and channel one so the driving drones can reach this box. Okay, my output, same story. I want you on one, three, and four. Uh, I want you on one, three, and four, and then I want to look at this one. This one's going to be the more important of the two to start with uh, because it's going to be controlling us making our plates. Now, plates, I need to maintain some sort of ratio. Uh, control, alt, alt, that's the button I want. So for every fabricator I have making iron plates, I'm going to need 1.3 of them making the metal bars. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen cool uh yeah i ruined all your settings uh, duh, 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 duh. uh actually i want to lock you to that slot and i want to lock you to that slot cool uh so that's enough to run 10 of these guys so then i want to look at my range again and i have one of them currently i'm going to set you to store your material in here that's going to be very, very important. These guys are not told to store the material anywhere. They'll just put it wherever they feel like it. And then I need to, uh, well, cover this area. So that is one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. So that's our first block, our first block to ratio. Uh, and if I look at this, we can see that the one in the far left, the one that's there by itself with 20 in it, is outside that range. That's going to be important because you and me heat into there. Your job is to, well, just make ingots. Just make ingots for the network. And hopefully, uh, high priority. High priority. If I get the center line done, it means I can then duplicate this and we can start making another row. Uh, I don't need you anymore. So we can deconstruct you and your friends. Do I need them anymore? Uh, actually, I do need you. Yes, uh, unfixed slots. Uh, you're going to be that one in the future. And you're going to be that. And okay, you're ready to be copy and paste for the future. That one can go. All right, so we need some iron bars. The bot's going to bring that over shortly. And then we can start mass duplicating. On top of that, we're going to need a whole lot of fabricators. Now, I do have over here. So a couple of machines uh, set up to make 54 spare fabricators. Yeah, 54, an awful lot of them. I'm gonna need them, I think. Uh, that's still not done. Uh, put that in there too. Uh, I'm short on IC chips and IC chips are... Got only item transporters turned on. Does that mean you do? No. Okay, so that should unfix all slots. That would probably be important. Yeah, I copy and pasted from another building. All right, so that's now working. Okay, so you should get built sooner or later. I should have some more 
compound miners, which we can paste and set them off. All right. So that's the first thing I need to do. Uh, second thing I need to do is... No, I won't retire them just yet. Uh, actually, I will be doing... Uh, can I get these guys? So one of the things I want to do to transfer transition nicely is I want to start unloading my ore here. But I don't necessarily want to cut the output of the ore back to the base. Okay. Uh, same with my output buildings. Like in the case of I have a whole bunch of bots that are running around putting down foundations. And they're picking up ingots from one of these buildings. I don't know which one. So it's better for me to leave them and then find them all sitting around with there being no ore in the box. And then complaining and then going, okay, but that, that, that's the guys I need to grab. All right. So we can now do... Uh, hang on, let's bring you back up. Let's double check your range. Okay. So I can go from here to here. That's my next row there. Uh, you need to have this one done. And once that one's done, I can start putting in the next row. Because we're going to be bu building this in stages. Yes, many, many, many stages. Because uh, unfortunately, some of these things are going to be buried in behind buildings. Can I get you lot to... Hmm. Yeah, just go away. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. All right. Uh, so we have 10 to 13. All right. So one. Uh, check our range. Yeah. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay i want you to go away and also means that i need to pause all those pause all those constructions yep and also i'll need to pause uh that one that one and that one yeah so i can get in here and build these two and then after we've built those two, we can uh, then continue on. All right. So that's our first build. Our first build up and running. Uh, can I get you to also go away? All right. So this is going to give us plate and bars. And our bars are, are running a little bit short, mainly because, well, we haven't built enough of them, really. Uh, can I... Oh, I'm going to have to pause stuff in here, too. Uh, pause. 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 Yeah, that should be fine. All right. Uh, okay, so my next build, my next build, my next build, my next build is going to be uh, reinforced plates. And I'm going to work backward from my output. Uh, I want to have a four tile like highway. Uh, so we don't have as many uh, claustrophobic bots running into one another. Four tiles, three tiles. Ah, uh, three tiles. No, four tiles. Four tiles. Yeah, four tiles. We got power grid. Yeah, that's four tiles. Okay, so that one or one to the right? Uh, that should be fine. I need to double check. I need to double check which one I copied. Uh, that should be our output. And then can I grab... We're making these guys. So we're going to put one of them here in the middle. And then you'll be four tiles away being there. Yeah, that's where our input's going to be. Cool. All right. Uh, that one can be resumed. Uh, that can be resumed. After that one's done, these can be resumed. Yeah. And we're also making iron plates here. So a lot of these will hopefully get delivered pretty much instantly as soon as they're resumed. Uh, because, well, they're within yeeting range. But then again, um, well, bots are stupid and the transporters are not much better. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get that one and that one. I'm going to also put one of these here. And actually, I want to put you there and there. Cool. All right. So that's going to be our next build. And I want to high priority you and you and you. Yep. I need to prioritize some of this stuff so it gets built a little bit faster than the others. You can be resumed. Uh, you should be high priority. And are we still pumping out? Yes. 
Definitely. Okay, cool. All right. And everything over here is fine. I'm just going to grab another one of you guys. And we're going to keep moving these guys across bit by bit. Okay, reinforced plate. Uh, we're going to have you be the output. Uh, you are going to be storage box, this one. Uh, you are going to be reinforced plate. Copy and paste. Cool. Uh, you, we could set up requests. Actually, we are going to set up requests. Uh, we're going to set you to be reinforced plate. Uh, and then we can look at the recipe. It is two to one. These boxes hold about 500 in them. So we should be able to go with 300 bars. Uh, and then... 140? Like, technically it'd be 150, but we'll go with 140. And then I need to set a third item, blight and run the request and we'll see how much that fills up the storage pretty good call that a win all right uh you we're gonna give you a symbol of that so we know you're part of the same build and then all i need to do is have you go there uh you also go there yep i need this one be built and the catch is uh you're requesting stuff which is outside the eating range and these guys don't have yeeters so I need a solution to, well, bridge this gap. Now I could have some dedicated bots, just dedicated bots driving back and forth. Uh, that would be perfectly fine and would get the job done. My other option, my other option is we go back to our drones. Uh, drone port, can I copy a drone port? Can I put a drone port here and here? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that is within range. Okay, uh, you were built as well. We're gonna have you go to there. Okay, so with our blueprint our blueprint our area of construction uh actually can i get you to go away and no that one can stay uh with our area of construction i can build anywhere within that area and it can be accessible by the eaters so i'm going to copy this building and i'm going to go like that uh that's all accessible as is a row around it and as you can see this is how we're going to scale up production okay, production is going to go through the roof after we start getting some of these builds uh, up and running at full speed. Soon as I get this sort of half built, we can then, well, decommission the feed in here and the feed in here, because that mostly goes to reinforce. Actually, that's good enough already. I'm gonna turn you off. I'm gonna stop requesting in material here and also means metal deliveries, which is delivering to that box and that box. I'm cutting you off and I'm gonna move my metal delivery robot over here. Don't know what you're going to be delivering to now, uh, but that sounds like a future problem and not a now problem. Okay, and so you're going to wait for some robots to show up. Uh, we're going to set you to high priority as well, and that is pretty much that build done. It's going to take a little while uh, to have all the drop the bots drop off everything. It's also going to take a little while to, for it to get up to speed. Assuming these drones get here reasonably quickly, that's going to vastly increase the amount of uh, materials we can get in here. As you're on network three, and as you're on network three now, uh, oh, no, not item, on the item transport, that's when I messed up the copy paste. Okay, yes, that'll vastly improve things. Yes, okay. So as this is now running, uh, yeah, it shouldn't take long for this to scale up in production. All right, which means, I wanna come over here, I wanna have that go away. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Cool. I want to move on to the next thing. Now, reinforced plates, the main thing it goes into, if we can remember from earlier, was the energy plate. So I want to have between this building and the next building a four time gap once again. And then we're going to put in a board. Copy from my template, please, Jedi. Uh, that way it doesn't start the code. Copy you, copy. Nope, that's wrong by a tile. There. Uh, and then copy that one, which will be four tiles from the previous one. Then we come over here and we go energize plates, please. And I'm gonna put that there and there. Cool. Uh, can I high priority, I should just high priority all of this. Yep, this is super important. As soon as, as, soon as we got the first bare bones in there, we can then start mass producing. Also means I'm gonna turn off that. No longer gonna have requests in there. And I'm gonna turn off I'm going to turn off that one, actually, and I think I'll leave this one running. Yeah, because this will drain out our reinforced plate. Not that we probably need to drain it all that much, but, you know. All right, so uh, this build is obviously dead. So what I want to do is I want to start recovering materials from it. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to copy that to there, 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 there. 
There, 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 and there. I don't really want to remove the center buildings because technically they have uh, power relays in them that go to the combat team. Also, don't want to remove the output. But I can, I could remove the input. You know, and it's got power relay. We're, we're going to remove the input. Uh, yeah, I don't want to remove the outputs or the inputs for stuff like all coming in so I can track down all the robots that are assigned to those boxes because... Oh, oh crap. <sighs> Where are you? Iron 2. I have no idea where Iron 2 is. Uh, give me a sec whilst I go find Iron 2. Finally found Iron 2. God. All right. Uh, all right. So we've got energy plates set up. Uh, same story. I say copy paste. I've already had these directed to the right location, set up the request. We're good to go, which means we can move on to the next build. Uh, the next build is actually something slightly different. Uh, I want to grab one of them. Uh, now, this is going to be green circuits. And the reason green circuits is slightly different is just the fact that you just don't use that many of them. Uh, it's the first game in a long time where gears and green circuits are not super, super important. As you can see, it goes into just about every single component you can think of, but it doesn't go into an intermediate. Because it doesn't go into an intermediate, we don't tend to use a lot of them. In fact, this little build here that could is doing really well. Uh, we're going to turn that off, and you are delivering to... Nope, nope. Uh, crystal deliveries... What? You're delivering to there and there. Cool. Uh, I don't need you to deliver either of those anymore. We're going to set you up to come to our crystal box. Which is this one, I think? Uh, okay, helps if I set you lot to high priority. Also helps if I unpause the next row of that and unpause the next or build the next row of that uh yep you're good still and can i get a green circuit machine oh, can i put you uh here oh i've got that building highlighted yep you can see the rate at which things are getting yeeted through it uh we do have drones up and running which is keeping this full i got a second set of drones here that can also heat help out and you might notice that uh, green circuits require plate. And plates all the way over here. It won't reach. No way a yeast is going to reach that far. But if I put a drone building here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. A drone building here. That can reach the input building here. Uh, so all I need to do is set you up with... Do, 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 uh, three of those. Plus a behavior controller, please. That's uh, not a behavior controller. Uh... That one is. And I'm going to set you up with, same story, uh, three of those plus a behavior controller. And you, we're just going to give you the color of green circuits. Infinite, please. Uh, you, I need to put on, whoop, I need to put you on channel one, three, and four. One, three, and four. And I just need that built and that built. Then we start copying and pasting also means that you need to go away because you're in our way and energy on plates are half built up ah, oh, these guys these guys have done the next row which may oh, copy paste okay which means that's how we build the next row and that's how we build the row after that that fell there to there better uh and they are all one tile within easing range yep we just need part of the building part of the building Part of the building to be in the easy range and is usable. Uh, okay, so one, two, something ran off with the other one. Uh, can I get yeah, another storage in there? And they ran off with that one as well. Awesome. Oh, it's being yeeted back and forth. Oh, I hate you guys sometimes. Okay, uh, this is going to be our request in. Uh, this will be our out. So you just need to have that set. Uh, you need to read from that building. Uh, we need three and five. So let's go with... Uh, what? Three and five. Um, I don't know. 200? 200. Sure. And... 
100. Actually, we go for 400. That's only cool. Uh, 300? 150 and 350. There you go. That, 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 that'll do. Uh, actually, I need to have multiple of 40. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Uh, multiple of 20, rather. Okay. Uh, you have drones. Yes, drones can reach that building. Uh, you are going to be that. Uh, I need to set a last request. And you just need to hit the go button and have that installed. All right. So you are going to output to there. You're going to output to there. Uh, you're a bit of a funny shape, so you're going to be slightly different to your friends. Uh, but the principle holds up. And this build has been decommissioned. Uh, we'll remove... No, we won't remove the input. Just in case. Uh, this build has been decommissioned and is empty. That's just as important. Uh, copy, paste, 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 paste. I have no idea what you're using back and forth, but you are, and I frankly don't care. Okay, uh, so that'll empty and deconstruct that build. This build is half empty, it is draining out, and green circuits will get built over here. Okay, resume the next row of that. All right, which also means I need crystals over here, which we haven't set up, mm, sort of. Uh, I need to get crystals into here. This is gonna be a main consumer crystals. So this is going to be our crystal box. Uh, we're going to set you to crystal chunks, and we're going to set you to crystal chunks. Paste, 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 and store in there, store in there, store in there. Okay. You have no hope of reaching the input box, but if we look at this, uh, we can see that that's our range, and if I put a drone port here and here, those drain ports should be able to, uh, one, two, three, four, five, that's in range, and then four tiles, yep, that should be out of reach without a problem, and we should be able to bring in crystals via drones. Also means I'm going to turn you on, and we can start making green circuits over here. Cool. Uh, you are all short on fabricators, and green circuits, and just general deliveries. All right, so that means I now need to get crystals over here. So we're going to just grab one of you guys. We're going to set you to, this is your new box. This is your delivery location. I need to put a seven on there because that's how many crystal teams are up to. 10 on there already. All right, uh, next thing I need to do is metal storage. It's already going that way. Uh, sand storage, crystal storage. Crystal storage needs to come over here. And bug storage is already going that way. Okay, can I get, oh, that never got built. Uh, why for not? Because we don't have those. Why for not us have those? Because that's a network four. It's the simple things. Uh, that also means that never got built. Okay, cool. Uh, I had a hauler. Uh, no, it's over here. It is ladder hauler. Okay, uh, stop. Can I... Cool, can I get you to just dump everything in here because I need to empty this box. Uh, really? You guys found the one spot with a no power cord apart? You're an idiot. Uh, ladder one hauler. Yeah, can I give you uh, just a store command? Cool, and uh, turn off. All right, I'm gonna get you as a quick transport route. And we're just going to borrow you. We're going to have you go to there and store everything in this one. Because I'm moving the bugs across town. Uh, we're going to set this to be bugs. Uh, for the main reason of I need to put them somewhere. And as you can see, it makes sense to have crystals not right beside iron. Because we're going to need crystals for other things, which will be going right about here. So I might as well put a bug in the middle. Uh, bugs we don't tend to use for much. But we're also going to get that build up and running. Okay, can I... They're waiting on deliveries. That's waiting on that. That's also waiting on deliveries. The bots just flat out. Uh, unfortunately, they are also trying to bring things literally halfway across the map. Uh, that is until the old build is drained. And, ah, I also need a drone port in here to make sure that our reinforced plate makes it that short distance. Crystals are a problem, don't get me wrong. Crystal storage is down here and we're making energized plate up here. That's, that's less than ideal, but one problem at a time. All right, uh, with us making energized plate here, 
obviously I need another build. I need another build which is going to go there and it's going to go there and it's going to go there and I'm pretty sure you can guess what this one's going to be. It's going to be the good old cubes. The good old cubes, we're going to put those there and there and then I don't need any of those batteries. No, I'm probably going to regret this because the bots are busy enough. Uh, we just have battery storage. We just need somewhere for battery storage to be. Uh, okay, crystals are being delivered. They're going not to have any drones. Uh, you've already been decommissioned, yes. So this just needs to have be drained. And as we can see, some of it is drained already. And I could just send a bot over there and deconstruct the whole lot, but that's going to put a whole lot of crap on the ground. I would very much prefer not to. Uh, but I can get rid of that, 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 that one, 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 that one. You do have an output. It's just full. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's going to decommission basically the guts of that build. That one's been gutted already. Uh, this we are going to turn off because I don't want it running anymore. Also, I'm going to turn that one off uh because we're about to have that built all right also means that i need to uh keep expanding keep expanding keep building so we have energy on plates which are going to end right about here which means i want to put my next build in line with it which is going to be that tile that tile yep and then that tile and then you are going to be a little bit different uh we're going to have you output where are you gonna output? Uh, you're only going to cable. We're gonna have you output over here. Cool. Because uh, this is gonna be our silicon build. Uh, is it gonna be silicon? What does sand go into? Sand goes into silicon, aluminum sheets, and wire. Ah. Uh, uh, abort and abort. Okay, gotta think this stuff through. Okay, we're actually gonna put you here. I'm gonna put your output. That's too close. Ah. Okay, a board and a board. All right, so try again. Input. Hmm. Doesn't go there, but does go there. Three tile gap at the bottom, not four. Can't afford a four. Uh, center building is gonna go that tile. Output building is gonna go. That's mine up here. Uh, okay, I guess everything needs to move over a tile. I can live with that, I think. Okay, which means this one or this one's gonna be sand. Uh. So sand also went into wire. You know what? Um, I'm I'm gonna cut the episode here, and that'll give me time to think about it. Uh, because I'm not sure exactly which story is gonna be which. Like this is bugs. That's fine. This is crystal. That's fine. Crystal goes into cable, which will have to be shipped. Uh, energy plate have to be shipped. Crystal powder have to be shipped. Transformers have to be shipped. You can't have uh, drones do everything. But sand is one that I definitely like to have with uh, transporters if possible. Uh, also, I think I need to give it a minute for the bots to catch up. They look like they're uh, a little bit under the weather, moving a lot of stuff from A to B. Um, yep. And we're still getting foundation from somewhere. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm going to call this episode here. We're, in theory, going to get some advanced drones eventually. Uh, we do have some extra miners up and running. Uh, so, in theory, we can get some advanced drones sooner or later. We have laterite, which means we should be able to get aluminium. Yeah, it's just waiting on deliveries, which is waiting on robots. Yes. But we do have mining lasers. We don't have one of those at all yet. So, yes, next episode. Next episode. Yep. I'm going to call it here. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I hope you take some inspiration from these new mega builds. Um, these have an incredible amount of throughput. 
And it means that even if your energized plates take 30 seconds each to craft, and you have two per building, um, that's a lot of assemblies in a very small footprint. Uh, an awful lot. And it would work better if we could get some, convince, convince some drones to show up over here. At which point, well, we could get a little bit higher throughput of these resources. But, um... Oh. Uh, oh, no, we're out of, we're out of iron. Yeah, we're out of iron. Cool, cool. I need to move some more. Move some more drones across. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to call it here. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. See you in the very next episode with the rest of the base rebuild. We're getting there bit by bit. All right, we're out. Bye.